So just remember that the definition of GDP is, is the market value of final goods and services produced within a country in a given period of time, within the borders of a country. So what I'm going to do here is give a real quick example of how to think about calculating this. So our example is going to have two goods. We're going to have donuts, and we're going to have pictures of dogs. We'll call them dog paintings. Well, imagine we'll have two years, 2016 and 2017. In 2016, donuts are going to cost $1. In 2016, dog paintings are going to cost $100. In 2017, donuts are going to cost also $1. No change in prices. But in 2017, dog paintings are going to cost $150. Now that's the prices. How many units are produced? What is the final goods and, sale, goods and services produced in these two years? So in 2016, we're going to say that 100 donuts are produced and eaten. So that's the number. In 2017, we're going to say there's 120. So the next year, in 2017, uh, the consumers in this economy are consuming more donuts. In 2016, we're going to say that there are five dog paintings that are consumed by the producer, by the, that are consumed in this economy. And there's going to be six in 2017. Right? Well, given this, sim we could think our simple GDP calculation would be 1 times 100 plus 105 or 616. And same for 2017, 1 times 120 plus 6 times 150, so this would be 900, 120, so 1,020, that would be GDP in a simple world. But let's complicate this a little more. Let's imagine dog paintings are, um, uh, have some inputs, okay? Let's imagine that uh, for each painting, we need $20 worth of paint per painting. At the same time, we also need $20 for the canvas. Right. Now let's complicate this um, oh, per canvas per painting. Let's complicate this even a bit more. Let's imagine that the paint is all purchased in 2016. So this is all produced and bought in 2016. So the painters buy the paint initially. They paint some of the paintings in 2016. They have paint left over. They use that paint to paint the rest of the paintings in 2017. At the same time, let's imagine that these canvases are all produced in Vietnam, not in the United States. Let's imagine this, this economy over here is the United States. So what this now, given these complications, what is actual GDP in these two economies? So GDP in 2016 is exactly how we framed it before, at least with regards to donuts. So it's 100 times $1, right? Plus, now here's th where things get a little different. So we have five paintings. But the actual value added in the year 2016, right, of these services produced in the borders of, in this case, the United States, right, is not 100, as it was in this little simple example, right, but it's 100 minus that value added for the canvas that's actually produced outside the country in Vietnam, right? So the actual value added produced in the borders of the United States in 20 is 80 per painting. At the end of the day, this gives us 100 plus 5 times 80, or 400, or 500 in total. Now in 2017, we have 120 donuts, and the price has not changed, so it's 120 times $1. 
plus, now in this case, the paint was all purchased the year before. Right? So actually they added another complication that we have to think about for the first one. We'll go back to that in a second. But we now have six paintings. 100 is the, pr oh sorry, 150 is the price. We're actually so, you can see this 150 here. Netting out the canvas, we don't have to worry about that. Right? And at the same time, netting out the paint. Because the paint was actually bought and sold, or, or produced and sold in 2016. Right? So at the end of the day, what do we have here? 150 minus 40 minus 40, so 110. So this is 660 plus 120 or 780 is the GDP for 2017. Now let me correct myself and go back to 2016 very quickly. In 2016, right, remember, we actually produced the painting, the paint in 2016. Okay? And in fact, given this, it's enough paint not just for the paintings in 2016, right, which is actually included here in this value added, but it's also the paint for the paintings in 2017. So in addition to this 500, we have to add in the $20 worth of paint times the six paintings that are eventually produced in 2017, right? So our actual GDP here is 620, not the 500 uh, that we initially calculated. So that completes this first example. Uh, in future videos, we'll see other simple examples of um, calculating GDP and other things in this course.